Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fantastic Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Let's start by clicking Create a New 3D Design. We're going to call this one Holiday Scene. Friends, we're going to make a fun holiday tree. Let's start by building the tree trunk. Bring out a cylinder. I'm going to tell you that we're going to keep it with the size 20. I made it brown, and I do want the sides to be round. Now, eventually, this gets thinner, so we're going to do that with a cone. Drop it right on top using cruising. I'm going to tell you to just stretch it to the height you want, but do take that top radius. Let's make it 3 and press Enter. And, of course, if it's a tree trunk, it needs to be brown as well. I'm going to take those two and do L for a line and choose Center and center. I do love to recommend that if you look at this from a corner on the view cube, it's easier to get them lined up and let's group them. I'm going to move that off to the side and we're going to make our tree with scribble. Simply bring out a chunk of scribble and then we want this to get skinny at the top. So notice I'm going in between this block. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then we're just going to go out and back 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 if you screw up which you likely will just hit clear and start again once again i'm going from the middle sweeping back in and down and back down and back down and back and then i'm gonna stop right here so notice this is the peak of the tree it is further in the middle this is the bottom of the tree. It is out near the stump. Once again, if you want to adjust something, you can just nibble it off with the eraser. You can also redraw if you wanted that to be round. If you don't like it, you can clear. When you're happy, you can click Done, and I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to make it green. I'm going to make it skinny. Instead of 10, I want 2, and press Enter. And then we need to stand this up. Now when you stand it up, we're going to use the rotation tool. I always recommend looking from a corner. When you start rotating, if you stay close to the middle of the shape, it goes 22 and a half degrees. That's the 90 we want. If you hold down shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time, which is even more efficient. If you come out here, it goes one degree at a time, and that is a little bit more tricky. So there is the 90 degrees. Press D to drop it to the work plane. Now we want to raise it up in the air. I'm going to do control up, raise it up just a little bit. And then this is where it gets super fun, friends. We're going to do control D. We are going to rotate that next one and you can pick a couple different numbers. You can do 12, 15, or 20, whichever you want. If you miss, like I missed, I'm going to click in the box and type negative 20. And then I'm going to do a few arrow keys to get that so the ends line up. Now I'm going to go one click over, and if I do Control D again and again and again, without clicking anywhere else, it makes my amazing Christmas tree just like that. And because of the math I did, 12, 15, and 20 all divide in, so those numbers would give you an even shape. I'm going to take all of those pieces, and I'm going to group them with Control G. It'll take a moment to group, but that makes everything else that we do a lot easier because we can align them and they'll stay together. There, mine finally snapped into place. Let's align our two parts by doing L for a line. I'm going to click on the tree and choose the middle. Let's look at it from the corner and also right there, I'm going to choose the middle. <laughs> How cool is that? Now, our tree is not as tall as our trunk. Check it out. Problem solved. We can also do control up to raise it up a couple clicks so it's a little higher on the stump. I'm going to grab all of that and bring it more to the middle of my project. And then I want to add one more cone. I'm going to put it on top of the trunk with cruising. Notice how that dropped right in there. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to make it the green. And then I'm going to do alt shift to squeeze it so it's exactly where I want. And let's also grab them all and do L for a line one more time. This time I'm going to use the tree as the boss and just go pop, pop. And I can raise that up as high as I want. Now, friends, that is a super fun Christmas tree. Of course, the next step is to decorate it. You can decorate it with anything you want. You could have little tubes. 
pick any color that you think is cool and hang those on them. You could do combinations of tubes. I'm going to make this skinnier just so it looks a little cooler. Of course, if we hit F to fit view, we can stand it up. There's my 90 degrees that way. And I can lift it into place, use my arrow keys to nudge it, rotate it so that it looks how I want. I think that looks pretty darn fun. Of, of course, you can also bring out spheres, shift shrink them, make them any color you want, and then hang them on the tree. Don't forget this, you can also use the new cruising tool to put them exactly where you want. I'm gonna do a couple arrow keys to nudge that, control D, arrow keys to move, control up and when you get it where you're close you can also just simply hit cruising and bingo stick it where you want pick a new color and have a blast as you decorate your awesome holiday tree of course you could create custom designs check this one out if we bring out a half sphere and we do control D make the second one a hole and if you do control down it'll sink below it and then if you take those two and do control G, we will have a cool hollow shape. Once again, rotate on the inside. There is our cool little hollow shape, D to drop. I'm gonna give it some cool stuff on the inside. Using cruise, I can just decorate this with a cone inside it. Pick a color that I think is gonna be kinda cool. Let's go with a custom green, way out here in the sparkly greens. And if I look at that from a side, you can see that it's going to be too big. But if I do Alt-Shift-Squeeze, I can shrink it down. It's so cool to be able to simply hit that C for cruising, get it exactly centered, and make your own interesting designs. I'm going to take those two and do Control-G. Of course, turn on Multicolor and let me move that fun ornament into place as well. Change the shape anything we want as we make our own fun decorations while you're looking at decorations don't forget there's a cool star that you can put on top because of cruising I could get this close but notice it'll be tilted kind of funny so I'm gonna put it down on the ground and then use that same rotate to stand it straight up I'm gonna make it a sweet custom gold color get out here in this area right here and find the one I think is cool I'm gonna work with that I also want to rotate this a few degrees so it's standing up so if you look at this one right there bingo that's pretty darn close you can get it as perfect as you want I'm gonna go a little bit more that I really really like this time let's get it in place by doing shift select choosing a line click up on that shape and we want it to be on that spot and that spot and I'm gonna put it to the top now I can do control up to get it exactly where I want few clicks out and how cool is that a little bit large but I'm gonna do alt shift to shrink it now I called it a holiday scene and all we have right now is the tree I'm gonna remind you to keep making awesome decorations but check this out too we can also change our background color to something fun I'm gonna go with a light purple and then we can hide the grid so that our design looks a little bit more awesome then we can move down to creatures and characters. You could bring people into your project to make your scene a little more epic. Don't forget that you can click more shapes to find other people and then also fun things like maybe even a polar bear. There's so many items you can add as you make yours more and more epic. You can put eyeballs using the sweet cruising feature. As you search through all the areas, you will find things like presents. Check it out course you should have a present in your project and don't forget as you're creating if you come up with something you want you can simply type it in and see if it's already available when I type in Santa check it out there actually is a cute little reindeer how cool is that there is so much room for you to have a ton of fun as you make an incredible project you could even say that it was for somebody by clicking on the note feature, clicking right here and saying this is for, let's say, Timmy or whoever you want to share it with in your life. Please take time to keep adding stuff to push this to epic levels. But when you are all done, you can show the whole world by simply clicking on the Tinkercad button right here 
and then clicking on the properties. Of course, you can name it however you want. I'm always going to mention that the tutorial is coming soon and I give you other ways to reach me. Finally, you can add whatever tags you want. And I do want to remind you, if you type HLMT23, I search that tag almost every day. And of course, I would love to see your fantastic designs and I will give you a reaction. Finally, make sure you click public and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial and gain some epic skills. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this and I'm looking forward to seeing how epic your holiday scenes turn out. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.